Yo, what's up? It's your boy coming to you with another episode of Director's Talk. Now, normally I'm breaking down film, techniques, camera angles, tricks behind the lens. Not today. Today, I'm here to salute you, the subscribers, the fans of my work. It's easy to get in front of the camera for some people. And for some people, it's hard. It's, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of nerve to do what we do. And then you got a lot of people who do movie reviews as well as myself. Uh, they do rankings. They do trailer reactions and stuff like that. And that's cool. I'm not into that. I just feel I respect artists who do original content. Being a content creator does not make you an artist. It just makes you a content creator. I tend to follow artists, people who do original concepts, original art, and that's what really appeals to me And because that's what I do. I'm a writer by trade. I publish books. Now I'm a director and producer of small films made for small TV, basically your cell phone. And my first film, Don't Look Back, I had a moderate expectation for myself. If I do 100 to 200 views, I'm happy. Well, I doubled that. I did over 400 views. I'm like, wow, that's incredible. For me, it is. Then my second film, The Comforter, my goal was to double the numbers of my first film, which I did that within a week and a half of release late last year. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And for some reason, in recent weeks, the movie has resurfaced and gained more momentum. I'm about to hit 1K in views for my original film, The Comforter. Did not see this coming. I could not imagine in a thousand years that this would happen. Because you take a risk and a chance when you get behind the camera, film your own work, your own writings come to life, picking out actors and actresses to bring your characters together. And it is a feeling I cannot express in the words how it makes you feel. Now, I love doing movie reviews, but let's face it, I do movie reviews standing on my head. It takes no effort. A little bit of research, and that's it. And everybody's doing movie reviews. I only watch a handful of people that I like. There's, there's way too many people doing it. If you don't have a new kind of style or a new gimmick, man, you're stuck in neutral. I don't do trailer reactions, and I never will. Rankings and all that kind of stuff, I'll leave it for you guys to do. That's not my thing. I might premiere on another channel helping somebody else doing rankings, but it's rare that I do stuff like that. And I just like doing original content. In fact, the biggest views on my channel comes from my original content. So that tells me that's what I'm here for. It's produce, create, and innovate on a higher level that I can to produce intimate action, whatever type of genre there is that I can put my hands on and sink my teeth into to bring to my subscribers. Um, so the month of July is right around the corner. I'm going to hit 1K in views for my last film, The Comforter. And in a couple of weeks, I'll be heading out of state to finish principal photography for my latest project, Sarah. It's a dream come true. I'm living the dream of a director, producer, writer. Yes, it's on a small level, but that's how everybody starts. I mean, this is big for me. I can't even describe how I feel inside. It takes guts. It takes nerve. It takes courage to get in front of the camera and do what we do. Some people have an easier time than others, and I applaud all of your efforts. I love it. But to my subscribers, watch the film The Comforter one more time within the next week and help me reach that plateau, that number of 1K views. We can do this together. I couldn't imagine this would be happening. And without you, there's no me. That's all I can say. I will see you soon on another episode of Director's Talk. Be safe and stay motivated. Thank <laughs> you.